Welcome to my channel, Gender Swap Zone. Home Alone, what's in mom's wardrobe? Home Alone and brimming with curiosity, I found myself drawn to mom's wardrobe. Her dresses were so enchanting that I couldn't resist trying one on. Once I did, I couldn't stop. I'm Jasper, and I'm just 15. I've never kissed a girl, except for my cousin Archer when we were kids. I dream of having a girlfriend. They're so pretty, with their beautiful long hair and lovely clothes. Sometimes, I wish I had been born a girl so I could look just as pretty and wear those girly outfits. The trouble is, I'm a boy, and boys don't wear girly things. It's a shame because I'd love to. With my mom working in a factory all day, I spend a lot of time alone at home. Right now, I'm on school holidays, and it's pouring rain outside. After spending the entire morning glued to my computer screen, immersed in games, boredom starts to creep in. Restless, I begin to wander through the house, eventually finding myself in my parents' bedroom. Normally off-limits when they're not around, my curiosity gets the better of me. Just a quick peek won't do any harm, I convince myself. The room is elegantly decorated, featuring a spacious double bed and sleek built-in wardrobes. I open the first wardrobe and find my dad's clothes inside, dull and uninteresting. Moving to the other wardrobe, I discover my mom's collection. Dresses, skirts, and tops hang elegantly, and I can't resist running my hand over them. They're much softer and silkier than boys' clothes, and they look so beautiful. My eyes catch a glimpse of a long lilac dress that my mom wore to her sister's wedding. It hangs gracefully, reaching all the way down to the floor of the wardrobe. The dress has long, embroidered sleeves and a beautifully detailed top, with delicate patterns woven into the fabric. The skirt is made up of layers of chiffon that flow elegantly, creating a soft, ethereal look. I reach out to feel the fabric, and it's incredibly soft under my fingers. It must be wonderful to wear, I think. Taking it off the hanger, I hold it against myself and glance in the mirror. An irresistible urge to try it on washes over me. I lay the dress carefully on the bed and inspect it, noticing a zipper at the back running from the neck down to the waist. I carefully unzip it and pause to consider my next move. I remove my t-shirt, leaving my boxers on. Grasping the dress by the waist, I step into the skirt and pull it up around my waist. After a moment's hesitation, I slip my arms into the embroidered sleeves and pull the top into place. The dress feels amazing on me. I straighten the sleeves and awkwardly reach behind me to zip it up. It's not easy, but I eventually manage. Thankfully, my mom is just a bit taller than me, and my slim build allows the dress to fit perfectly. I gaze into the mirror, feeling so pretty. The chiffon brushing against my bare legs feels wonderful. I can't help but envy girls. Finding a pair of my mom's low heels in the wardrobe, I slip them on. They're a bit big, but they lift me just enough to keep the dress off the floor. I spend quite a while trying to get the hang of walking in her heels. Feeling adventurous, I decide to stroll around the house. It's delightful to move from room to room, but as I head downstairs, the heels become a challenge. I have to lift the dress carefully to avoid stepping on it, but eventually, I make it to the bottom. I make my way to the kitchen, grabbing a glass of water, then wander through the entire house. The happiness and excitement of this beautiful dress envelop me, making me yearn to wear feminine clothes more frequently. I head back upstairs feeling the urge to use the bathroom. Entering, I ponder how women handle it. Remembering they sit, I lift my skirt to my waist, lower my underwear, and sit as a girl would. It's a bit tricky with such a long dress, but I manage. After a quick shake, I'm done. Realizing it's getting late, I know I spent most of the afternoon in my mom's dress, embracing my girly side. I've had a great time but decide it's best to change before anyone returns home from work. Returning to the bedroom, I twist and stretch to reach behind my back, finally maneuvering the zipper down. With some effort, I step out of the dress, carefully zipping it back up and hanging it neatly in the wardrobe. I hope no one suspects I've been in their bedroom. Anxious, I check repeatedly as mom arrives home first, followed by dad. Dinner proceeds as usual, and no one seems to have noticed my escapade. That night, lying in bed, all I can think about is dressing up in my mom's beautiful dress once more. Throughout the night, I dream of wearing feminine attire, envisioning myself in a school drill uniform the next day. Mom and dad head off to work as usual, leaving me to my own thoughts. Unable to resist, I find myself drawn back to their bedroom, fixated on dressing up in my mom's delightful outfits once more. 
As I sift through the drawers, I uncover a treasure trove of my mom's lingerie. Countless silky panties, each with its own lace embellishments, varying in size from small to large, and exuding an unmistakable allure. I discover a sultry ensemble of lingerie, perfect for an enchanting night out, scarlet red, silky thong panties adorned with delicate lace edging, a matching bra, and a suspender belt. Intrigued by the luxurious feel, I can't help but wonder how they would feel against my skin. Succumbing to curiosity, I undress and lay my clothes neatly on the bed, ready to slip into this alluring attire. I slide into the panties, feeling the thong nestle between my cheeks, a sensation that's both new and exhilarating compared to my usual boxers. The silkiness is a delight against my skin. Next, I reach for the bra and nose the hooks at the back. Undoing them, I slip my arms through the straps and pull it up, relying on my imagination and some effort to fasten the clips behind me. After a bit of a struggle, I finally manage to secure it in place. I glance in the mirror and wow, I see a girl staring back at me. It looks like I have breasts and the snug bra feels wonderfully comforting against my chest. I then slide the suspender belt up over my waist, its suspenders hanging loosely. Searching through her drawer, I find a pair of nylon stockings. I carefully pull them on, one at a time, ensuring they remain intact. Discovering how to attach suspenders to my nylons has been an intriguing experience. The silky texture against my legs is unlike anything I felt before, and the reflection in the mirror is thrilling. From head to toe, I could almost pass for a girl, and the sensation is incredibly exciting. I dab the touch of my mom's red lipstick on my lips, adding a girly flair. Determined to complete the look, I found a stunning scarlet red dress in her wardrobe. The knee-length dress, with its delicate shoulder straps, beautifully embroidered top adorned with sequins, and a flowing satin skirt, was irresistible. Eager to wear it, I nearly broke the zip in my haste, but finally it was on. I complete my look with a pair of red-heeled sandals. Do I look wonderful? I wonder as I stroll around the house. Just as I make my way to the lounge, there's a sudden knock on the back door. Hi Jasper, are you there? It's my best friend Archer. I hear him say, and panic hits me. What do I do? It'll take forever to change out of these girly clothes. I'm stuck behind the back door, feeling embarrassed. Is that you, Jasper? Let me in, Jackson calls. I'm not ready, I shout back. Don't be silly. Let me in, I need to see you. I'm at a loss. If I let you in, you have to promise not to laugh or tell anyone what I'm wearing. Don't be ridiculous, Jasper. It doesn't matter what you're wearing. I've seen it all before. I unlock the door and Archer barges in. Wow, Jasper, you look amazing, he exclaims. I never expected you to go all out with the girly look. You really pull it off? You think so? I reply, feeling a mix of surprise and delight. Absolutely, you look super feminine, especially with that bold red lipstick, Archer says, stepping closer and spinning me around. You look incredible, Jasper. Do you have on some cute, girly underwear too? Yes, I reply, lifting my dress to reveal the lacy panties, suspender belt, and nylons. They feel amazing. Archer raises an eyebrow, intrigued. They must be way better than boys' clothes, I add. So silky and soft against your skin. I notice the excitement in Archer's eyes as he pulls me closer and kisses me. I was caught off guard, but I found myself enjoying it. I might not have kissed a girl before, but kissing a boy felt exhilarating. I leaned in and kissed him back, feeling his firm body pressing against me, filled with excitement. After that day, Archer came by every day, eager to help me dress up and look beautiful for him. I admired girls for their pretty looks and lovely clothes, but it was Archer who truly held my heart. His support and affection made me feel special, and I realized my feelings for him ran much deeper than admiration. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and found the content valuable, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.